The Venezuelan government has extended invitations to the most relevant international organizations to accompany the upcoming December legislative elections. Authorities note the inv invitations are a sign of good faith and transparency, but added that all international missions must respect the nation's electoral law. A topic of debate in regards to the upcoming parliamentary elections in Venezuela has been the push for the participation of international observers from the European Union. They have been invited to the process but are reluctant to attend, arguing an alleged lack of guarantees, despite multiple organizations agreeing they have the necessary conditions. The guarantees have stayed the same for the electoral process. They were debated in Oslo, then in Barbados, and we were always in agreement. These guarantees were in the conditional agreement reached by both sides. Electoral authorities have invited multiple organizations to accompany December's vote, including the High Commissioner of Human Rights, the Secretary General of the United Nations, and the governments of China, South Africa, Russia, among others. The profiles of those who agree to take part varies between electoral experts, diplomats, journalists, academics, social leaders, and others. International observing missions gained traction during the 1990s and would focus on countries that were transitioning into democracy after years of dictatorships. In this way, many see these missions as an imposition of a global North perspective on internal affairs, as Eurocentric institutions must be allowed to validate the will of citizens. Recently, Venezuela modified its legislation to incorporate international monitoring, defined as a process of accompaniment instead of observation, based on sovereignty, self-determination, non-interference, and respect for internal electoral decisions. There must be a lot of consideration over the legitimacy that these observing missions are given because they could work to set up false flag attacks or coup attempts. Even though they should never be involved in these situations, they need to be independent in their work and their beliefs. Organizations that are behind electoral observing missions say they help increase the public's trust in the electoral process and are led by principles of objectivity, impartiality, and non-interference. But these principles are often set aside and observing missions have been known to generate great damage to democracy, as we seen last year in Bolivia with the actions of the OAS. Between 2016 and 2018, the National Electoral Council developed more than 10 electoral accompaniment programs, welcoming more than 2,000 companions from various continents. These include the Union of South American Nations, UNASUR, the Southern Common Market, MERCOSUR, the Inter-American Union of Electoral Bodies, UNIORE, the Council of Latin American Electoral Experts, and the United States National Union of Lawyers, as well as the OAS and the Carter Center. We come to offer respectful companionship to the internal process, but we will be very demanding with the audits, with the norms, and will make sure that all rules are followed. We will formulate recommendations ahead of the elections as well as afterwards and we will tell the people and the international community the results of our work. Electoral observation missions who arrive in Venezuela will not be there to provide some kind of legitimacy to the process, but will allow citizens and political players to have more trust in the process.